Hey everybody, today we want to try something different. We want to try a series where we essentially isolate or identify popular colors and try to color shiftify them. Color shift, is there any way, better way to say that? Shiftify them? We want to try to make them color shifts. If you have a better way to describe that, Put it in the comment section below. What we're working with today is a color we haven't worked with in a long time, so I'm super excited to spray it. Electric Lime Green. It's been around for almost a decade. It is a super bright, saturated green. That's gonna go right into the mix. And our attempt to color shiftify, can I stick with shiftify? Does that make any sense? Our attempt to shiftify electric lime green is going to be done using ZGA Hypershift Pearls, which is a really sparkly, very saturated green to blue Hypershift. Now, we had an internal debate on what pearls to use when trying to shiftify a PDS color like this, whether it's colored powder or interference powder like this, Specifically with this color, we really felt like we had to use interference because it's such a light, bright color that if we used a colored powder uh, hypershift like ZTG, for example, which is also green to blue, the powder would be darker than the liquid, and then essentially, you guys know the deal, would look like dirt. So we're going to try it. It's our first time ever trying to do this. We're going to use ZGA, and we're going ham. We're going deep. We're gonna try 25 grams per gallon. Normally with interference, hypershifts, we don't do that much pearl, but because the, the hypershift has to fight against the tint and pigment already in the gallon, in order for us to see any shifting effect at all, we're gonna go a little overboard on the pearl. So, as we blend this, we'll get a pretty good idea of whether or not this is gonna work because it's either gonna be completely swallowed by the electric lime green pigment, or we're gonna be able to see it. Now, whether or not this works, we're gonna continue the video and we're gonna finish it and we're gonna show you what it looks like. I don't see anything. Do you? I'm getting a little concerned. Now, we're gonna obviously have to blend this with a dispersion blade. This is proof that we don't think things through before we do them. All right, let me, let me pull out a little stick of truth here. Um, okay. So what I'm seeing is electric lime green with a very subtle sparkle. And I mean really subtle. We're not quite getting the color shifting effect that we were playing. Gabe's just in the background like this, watching this unfold. So our options are we can add more pearl or just spray it as it is. Let's start with this. We're gonna spray our first coat on there, see if there's anything going on. If I end up adding more pearl, I will let you know, right? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. And where I, where I think we gave ourselves some trouble is with this being such a bright light color. If this interference hypershift went into a deep green like Hunter, I think it would be popping a lot more. The challenge is there aren't any color powder, color shifts or hypershifts that are light powder enough to go into this. So we literally started, we started this series with like one of the worst colors to use for this series, which Right, because if we put enough hypershift into this to make it work, it's going to be like a 400 hour gallon.
All right, guys, we are done with the project. Here's what I would say. This didn't work. Like, none of it worked. It backfired massively. I don't think the concept is bad, and we'll get to that in a second. But the execution of this experimental first attempt failed. We had to take that electric lime green gallon and infuse it with 75 grams of hypershift per gallon in an attempt to get the color to show through. Meaning we created, do you have any, think about the math here. The retail cost of three bags of hypershift pearl plus the gallon is up around $600 per gallon and we used two of those gallons. <laughs> that's how bad this project failed. Now, that's not my technical cost on those materials, so it didn't cost me $1,200, but it's not that far off. I mean, the point is, we learned a big lesson here. I'm gonna take it outside so you guys can check it out. It's a very bright green car, and there are blue highlights as the sun does its thing, but honestly, something we could have probably achieved using just blue interference pearl over electric lime green for a fraction of the cost. But we're not, we're not um, discouraged. I still think um, shiftifying colors is totally possible. We're gonna try it again, so I want you to do two things. Take a look at this car and let me know how bad you think we failed in the comment section below. Rate it one through five. One, total bomb, could not have failed any harder. Five, you actually think it came out great. Unlikely, but hey, five if you want to throw a five. Second thing, let me know what colors you think might work. What gallon color do you think, what pearl do you think could have worked? I know a lot of you guys have been following this channel for a long time. You know enough about these products. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm very interested in your opinion. If you want to dip your own car, click up here. We have a ton of kits, everything to help you dip everything. Thank you guys for watching. We're gonna do another one in this series. I had a lot of fun. I'll see you on the next video.